What's up guys and welcome back to Soft and Outlet Solutions and today we're talking about Players Unknown Battleground. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Players Unknown Battleground, commonly known as PUBG, is free to play for every single person out there that is playing this game on console, on PC, whatever the case might be. If you are playing this game right now, there's a lot of people that is getting crash errors. For instance, where you're playing the game, it crashes straight to the desktop. A lot of people are also experiencing the problem where you click play, a white box pops up, and then it goes away and then it says you must click play again and it just goes into a constant loop where you can't play the game at all. Now, this is occurring to a lot of people. There's also a crash error report that you need to send. Do not send that crash error report because it does not help you. They are not going to fix your game. Trust me. I mean, I have this much hours on this game. Trust me. They are not going to do anything for you. You need to do it yourself. All right. So I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks what you can do to actually fix this game to make it run on your PC without crashing. Now let me know in the comments down below which one actually worked for you. Leave a like if this actually worked for you. Comment down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here. All right, let's jump straight into it. First thing you're going to need to do is go to Players Unknown Battleground over here or PUBG Battlegrounds. They completely renamed it. Right click on it, go to Properties and then go over here where it says Local Files. You're going to go to Browse, open up the Browse folder over here where your game is installed. So obviously in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, PUBG. You're going to go to TSL Game, Open up binaries, Win64, and go to TSL game. It's the largest file over here. You're going to right click on it, go to properties, and go to compatibility mode. I highly recommend you disable full screen optimization and run this program in administrator if you have not done this yet. Click both these boxes over here and say apply. Once you're done with that, you're going to say change settings for all users and do the exact same thing. So tick this box, this box, and then say apply. Once you're done with that, you're going to say change high DPI settings. Tick this box over here. I sign into Windows. Make sure it says this over here. Tick this box over here which says high DPI scaling override. And make sure it says application, not system, not system advanced, application. OK, apply, OK, apply, OK. Once you're done with that, you're going to go out of this and you're going to go back over here. Now what you're going to need to do is your game might have corrupt files. You're going to click on verify integrity of game files. And what it's going to need to do is it's going to scan your game files for corrupt files. I don't know why, but it's weird how PUBG is corrupting itself while you're busy playing the game. So that is a thing right now. I don't know how it's even possible for PUBG to do that, but you might have corrupt files inside your game. Now, a lot of people are experiencing this where you play the game, you all of a sudden just back on the desktop, you all of a sudden get a crash error report, you load into a certain map, and it's a specific map, and it just crashes to the desktop. You launch your game up again, it crashes again to the desktop. You launch your game up again, it crashes again to the desktop. But this time it's showing you a crash error send report. Then you send that report, and it does absolutely nothing. So do not send that report, because they are not going to fix your game for you. What's going to happen is you're going to send that report, and it's not going to do anything. You physically need to fix it yourself. Trust me, I've done all these troubleshoots myself. I mean, I've been playing this game since launch day, since this game came out. I bought it when it just got released, and it was at its worst state it's ever been. The game is at a better state right now, but people are still getting crash errors, and just in general, crashing to the desktop, or not being able to play the game itself. I mean, you click this play button, a white box pops up to show you that the game is launching, and then it goes away, and it will show the play button again. Now, that is a constant loop that people are running into, and I'm going to get to that just now to show you a lot of things that you can change to get that going away so you can actually launch into the game and play the game itself now ladies and gentlemen this one over here where it's validating your game files it's very very important for your game files to be validated because you might have corrupt files inside your game your game physically needs to have all the files inside of it to be not corrupt obviously so if you have one file two files three files 100 files 200 files corrupt Whatever the case might be, it could be one file only. If the game does not show you this, all files successfully validated, or it says one file, two files, three files, how many files, what you're going to need to do is you're going to say close, and you're going to tick this box again where it says validate integrity of game files. Then what it's going to do is it's going to try and repair those files for your game to get fixed. All right, so the next step you're going to need to do, just make sure, just make sure, 100% make sure it says all files successfully validated. Once you're done with that, you're going to go out of this and you're going to minimize out of the game. You're going to go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this and press enter. Go to update and security and make sure your Windows is up to date on a regular basis. Just make sure your Windows is up 
to date. It doesn't matter if you're running Windows 10, Windows 11, it doesn't matter what operating system you're running, just make sure your Windows is up to date. Another crucial step for people out there is this over here which says privacy. Scroll all the way down and go to where it says background apps and make sure you turn this off. I highly recommend turning this off because if this is on and all these things are on, it's going to run in the background, it's going to use RAM, your CPU, and it's going to use resources of your computer and it's going to make your game run worse, especially if you do not have a high-end gaming PC. Okay, once you're done with that, you're going to go to home and you're going to go to gaming. Now, a lot of people are experiencing the game crashing by having this enabled. So I highly recommend disabling this. If you enable it and the game crashes, disable it. So one of these options are going to help you. Trust me, just do this and see if this actually works for you. And I'm pretty sure one of these options are going to work for you. Once you're done with that, you are going to go out of this and you're going to go to the search button of here and type in device manager, just like this, and open up device manager. You're going to go display adapters and then right click on the graphics card you're currently running, say update drivers and say search automatically for drivers. It's going to let you know if you have the latest drivers installed on your graphics card and then if it tells you you do have the latest drivers installed, you are good to go with the game because the game wants the latest drivers to be installed on your system. Next thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and you're going to type in run and you're going to type in shift 5 temp shift 5 for the percentage symbol and press enter. You're going to click on anything inside here, highlight everything by pressing Ctrl and A, so it highlights everything. Now, as you can see, there's a report, right? That means your game has crashed. Now, you're going to delete this. You're going to right-click on it, say delete, and then say do this for all current items, and say skip, because Windows is currently using this file. You can't obviously delete that file right now, because Windows is using it. Right-click on your recycling bin, send to recycling bin, and say yes. You're going to go back to the search button over here and type... Oh, fuck. You're going to go back to the search button over here and you're going to type in run and you're going to type in temp only and press enter. Click on anything inside here, press control and A, highlight everything, right click on it, say delete and then go out of this and then empty your recycling bin and say yes. You're going to go back to the search button over here and you're going to type in run and this time you're going to type in prefetch just like this. It doesn't matter if it's capital letters or lowercase letters, just press enter on prefetch, click on anything inside here, control and A, highlight everything, right click on it and say delete. You're going to say do this for all kind of items and say skip. Windows is currently using that file. You can't delete it. Right click on your recycling bin, say empty and say yes. Once you're done with that, what you're going to need to do is go into Steam itself again. And over here where it says PUBG, it's going to say play. Once you've done everything that I just said you need to do by validating your game files and make sure that your game is running correctly. All right. So make sure it says all files successfully validated. Once you're done doing that, I highly recommend go to Steam exit steam and then reboot your steam so ba basically just relaunch your steam come back to players unknown battleground and click play all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see i'm in the game right now so another thing you can do is actually lowering your settings consider lowering your settings inside the game itself so all you need to do is go to this little gear icon over here and go to settings and then scroll all the way down and then actually change these settings itself now I'm going to show you what you can turn off that you don't really need inside this game even though I put everything on ultra and my machine can run it perfectly fine but for a lot of people out there that are running mid-tier gaming PCs to low-end gaming PCs if you put your game too high and you push the game to its limit it's going to crash that is another error inside the game that is happening with the game is if your graphics settings is too high a lot of people are also having this problem so Overall graphic settings, this is going to be custom when you start changing it. So I highly recommend if you have a 4 gig graphics card or anything lower than that, go all the way down to low. What you can also do is put it on very low if you have a very low in gaming graphics card. This one over here where it says post-processing, I highly recommend you put this all the way down to medium or low. Shadows you don't even really need in this game since it's a multiplayer game. You can turn it all the way down to low or very low. Textures, you're going to keep this on high because you want the game to look good. This doesn't affect any graphics card out there that much. If you are running a decent enough graphics card, putting this on high is perfectly fine. This one over here where it says effects, you can turn this all the way down to very low. You don't even need to see the effects in the game, to be honest with you. Foley's plays a very big role inside the game. It depends on the things that render into the game, how far it can render into the game. So I highly recommend putting this on low or putting it on medium. You do not need to have this on ultra unless you have a an extreme gaming setup. All right.
This one over here which says view distance plays a very big role as well because it obviously says what it does. It's view distance inside the game. So putting this lower or putting it on medium will also help you a lot. Sharpen, enable it, V-Sync, disable this. This one is your own personal preference with V-Sync depending on the monitor that you're running. Motion blur, you are going to disable this and then keep it at DirectX 11. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if this works for you, leave a like, leave a comment down below, leave some feedback down below in the comments so I can actually know which one actually worked for you. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here, and as always, peace out.